Hey Travelers, today on the channel we're going to do Collaboration with K Part 2. So today I'm going to get the windows established and do some furnishing of the rooms. Uh, I probably won't get the whole house done, half of it, and get windows established. So we're going to start over here with this side and let's go ahead and get some lighting. We're just going to get some lighting so that we can see everything. We're not going to... Some of the lighting will stay this way, but some of it won't. So for now, we're just going to get some lighting so that we can see just this half of the house. Mm, probably do the kitchen. Nope, this is the dining room. We'll probably do that too. Okay, so let's focus on this half of the house. So the first thing I want to do is get some door, is get a door into this bathroom right here. And I know that um, that this isn't intended to be a bathroom. I'm very well aware of that. But I want it to be one because I think that it makes more sense to have two master suites on this house. Especially given the sims I've designated. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and go with windows. I do want to go ahead and design the doors for this side. You wouldn't have doors of Kim Colors anywhere else. Like in a normal house, you wouldn't. But in this one, I just feel like it makes sense to have doors of colors because it's, you know, a completely personalized house. So I think I might use windows from snowy escape because the color of the default swatch kind of looks good with this so let's go ahead and hold alt just so i can line that up and just keep in mind this is a bathroom so i don't need to have you know 600 windows all right and then this side of the house will be for my one of my family members self sims i will go ahead and design with them in mind i want to go ahead and use a lot of the the crystal <laughs> the crystal pack the new one I don't remember what it's called. and then I want to go ahead and I think use some tile in this bathroom this one's beautiful but I also like this one and then because of that we can go ahead and floor like you know I put down flooring originally because I was establishing where the bathrooms were but now that I know which wallpaper I'm going with I'm gonna keep the same flooring but change the swatch of it so that it matches that bathroom that tile a bit I think I like that one better although this one's really beautiful but it's beautiful and it means I love this one I don't think I don't think my particular but we'll see obviously Okay, and then there's carpet in here, and we're going to go with snowy escape windows, so I'm going to go ahead and limit it by that in terms of the windows, and then I want to go ahead and get this big one. This one makes the most sense. Put two on this back wall, two over here, and there is a little, like, balcony over here, so I think we'll go ahead and door out to it, but I think we'll do, like, a door with a, um, like an opening, like a window in the door. Kind of like this one. That makes the most sense. That way you can get out onto that balcony because otherwise you... And then this one has a balcony access too, but I'm not going to use balcony access for this little bedroom. I'm just not... I don't want to, so I'm not going to. And then let's go... I think we're actually might move this door to this side of the room. Just so that if you are in this bedroom, you have direct access to this little bathroom and you don't have to go. And that would make it possible for us to add an additional wall and close off this hallway good job us and then move this archway and then opening that area as well for who knows what this is the dining room so okay so if this is the dining room that makes sense it's a big pantry but we're going to say three adults and a child or two live here so I feel like sense if sims had a pantry but they don't you know all right and then we're gonna go ahead and get a door out just so it's not in the way of a table so here I think and that's from cottage living that door Okay, so in this room we need wallpaper. Let's go ahead and take a look at what our options are. I'm going to sort, I don't think Crystal Creations, it's called, I don't think it came with um, wallpapers, but I'm going to check. Yeah, it came with one. Well, that's gorgeous. That is beautiful. Okay, let's go with this one. And then in this other room that's like an office, you need to do that. Look, there's an undo button. Let's do this green one in the cat room. Okay. And then let's also go ahead. Let's do, we're doing snowy escape windows, but let's do the um, bigger ones. Because I feel like that makes more sense in terms of 
So I want to line this wall with windows because they're the only windows that cats will have to the outside. And cats like light. They like natural light. So let's go ahead and just give them some good... Yep, that's fine with me. And then we can go ahead and put a window in this pantry. You wouldn't really have a window in a pantry, but I think it makes more sense than not having one there, honestly. And we need some windows in this office. Fit two. And we need another window. And then I think we fit the smaller one. Oh, yeah, so that that has enough light. And then that, those two right there. And then this is a bathroom, so we'll just put one window right there. I like the snowy escape windows with the siding that my sister chose, like a really... So that's what we're going to do for now. And then this hallway needs a uh, wallpaper. So let's go ahead and do like this turquoise color right in here, just as a nod towards, towards like I said, towards the person who's going to stay, who's going to live there. Let's do the one with the border instead. And then in terms of dining rooms, I want to go with this like bright yellow, but instead I let's go with bright yellow in the pantry just for fun. And then the kitchen, I want to do it with the Home Chef Hustle stuff and the um, other pack. So let's do Home Chef Hustle. And I also want to use uh, cool kitchen stuff. Okay, this is Home Chef Hustle, and the green swatch is my favorite one since it came out, but I like the brown swatch too. I like the green one the best. Okay, and then this is a dining room, so let's go ahead and choose a wallpaper for the dining room. I kind of want to choose one that's paranormal. That one that's like red. This one. Maybe a different swatch. Maybe the purple. And then this is an office, so let's go ahead and maybe do this, and then we'll actually and try to find one of the colors. These are weird colors that I don't think I'd actually have in my home. But since it's a sim home and I'm just building it, it's fine. And then let's go ahead and do this like burnt red in this guest room, which might also move this window just a little bit too high. And so is this. We'll change that out and we'll use the window, the bathroom window. And that's not very many windows in that room, but I think it's enough. And this one is too close to, and this one can be edited. Alright, so that's that side of the house, and that's the side of the house that we'll take care of today. So, let's go ahead and remove this light because we're going to use the crystal. Okay, so let's go ahead and design this bathroom. We're going to ignore the fact that bushes are coming through the wall. We're just going to ignore so, we need bathroom things, and I want to put in one of the really, one of the ones that seems like it accessible. And then I'm going to go ahead, I think, and use some of the Realm of Magic stuff for this bathroom, just because of the person who will be there. We need a shower, and I feel like the best one in this particular is probably the one from Get because it already has like that stuff in there. Decent shower, doesn't it? Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and put some cabinets in and a trash can. Just so there's, you know, the ability to on the surfaces. So we need a sink. Very important. I want to use the bath and then we need a trash can. I know, like, it's weird that I put trash cans in bathrooms for Sims, but like honestly, they you need them. Like it's it's ridiculous to not have a trash can. Actually, we might move the plumbing and let's move this here and then I do want to decorate everything very well because you know this is like a house we all put a rug it's a little bit too big but I don't want to make it any small I want to use the other swatches of this too so I'm gonna just like put them around this sec is that one in that bathroom yeah it's a different color okay all right so let's go ahead that way just put them around where I might want to use them. There is this little bit of a like porch right here, but I don't know what one would do with that area, so I'm just gonna put some plants on it, probably. You know, plants that you wouldn't actually. So, now we're gonna do, um, we need a bed, and I do want to check out to see if Crystal Creations has anything. And I also want to use Realm of... Okay, cool. So Crystal Creations doesn't have a bed, but Realm of Magic does. So let's go ahead and this way, Realm of... And then we can go ahead and just outfit the whole room in Realm of Magic stuff for the most part. A bench out here. We have this little seat. Look, there's a seance chair. Just putting out things I want to use. Just the purple one's pretty. I think we'll go with purple ones. So, 
definitely gonna put some flowers out here. All right, so we need a dresser. Let's go in a bedroom. Oh, we need a mirror for the bed. I have one from Crystal. Also have the standing one from Rome. And then let's see what else. We have stuff from Crystal Creek. It's a vivarium. We have Realm of Magic stuff. I think that's very the realm of magic stuff. And then we want a desk over here. All right, so then we need some side tables. Ooh, hey, cool crystal creek has a desk, which is beautiful. It's lovely. Let's put that in there. It also has a display cabinet, which would make sense. And there's a coffee. I like it. It's cool. Okay, let's put that over there. And there's a classic console table, which is also, or we could if there. There we go. Workshop table. Put that in. It's this thing that holds wands. I feel like it's kind of cool. There's shelving. Let's fill that wall with some shelving. Actually, we should probably fill one of the ones that's different. You know, one of the ones that doesn't have a pattern on it. Because that way it's kind of like an art piece. Okay, so that room is nearly finished. It just needs clutter. All right, there's another display shelf, another display shelf, shelves. Okay, so let's go ahead. We need lights. There is. That's kind of like a diffuser. That one's crystal-y thing. And then let's see. We need a dresser. So let's look at storage. Mmm, cool bookcases. Very neat. Let's put that one in there. I think we can also use this. Let's switch the sur- It's just in the way of the archways. Is the That's cool, though. That- Okay, let's move some things around just so that the basement of stuff makes sense. Let's move this in here. And then let's go ahead and move this chair just over like that. And then we need a dresser. And I think the best ones are the Realm of Mad stuff on top of them, which is cool. So let's go ahead and go back and we're going to go all for Realm of Magic. And we are going just a couple of photos and we need some plants. I think the plants would be better in this this back out here. Crystal creation stuff, biologist kit, and the jeweler's tray, and this thing. Just fill these things. You don't want it to be so full that there's not room for the actual sims to collect stuff. Look like people. Okay, so now we're gonna do regular clutter. Let's go ahead and basket this thing and lotion towels let's do bath and a hand towel i always think two makes more sense all right and then toothpaste and this toothbrush because my family member actually and then we need loo roll nowhere to put it in the bathroom so we might as well just put some extra just one extra and then this comb and then we need well here it is goes on the wall so and that's that bathroom done which is oh we actually have this towels or not oh that's a uh, hand black and let's also just go these ones too. cool great all right and now we just need some other like wise and we honestly light on top i like that one so we'll just put a whole bunch all right just a little bit more lighting and then lastly i want to put computer in this back television all right, so that is that section, definitely. There is some, I think, some Realm of Magic stuff that we don't have in the build. Let's see if there's anything else from Crystal Deck. There it goes. Yeah, we don't have the cauldron. There we go. Let's give it the, that way we don't. And then we have the Moonlight Crystal Grid thing. We'll go ahead and put it. And we're also going to don't have, and I haven't placed because I, I don't actually know that I'm going to do a lot of gem stuff. You need a couple of pots for plants. And that's that section done. Okay, so now we're going to jump into a bit of a speed build for this pet room and this pantry and the dining room. I'm going to leave this bedroom, bathroom, living room, foyer, hallway, office, bedroom, kitchen, this stuff for the next video. Actually, I will do the dining room and this bedroom and this little bathroom now and these two rooms and you will see them in a speed build section of the build. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy the music while that while I'm doing that. Again, this is going to be a cat pet room. This is a pantry and it might also have laundry machines in it. This is going to have laundry in it too, but it might be nice to have laundry at both ends of the house. So we'll see. Uh, especially since I'm pretty sure my sister's little house doesn't have laundry in it. I think, 
Let's go ahead and just review that and make sure. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't think she has laundry in hers. Right, so because of that, I will go ahead and put laundry in the pantry as well. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the music while I speed build pet cat room, pantry slash laundry, dining room, little bedroom, little bathroom. And then in the third part, we'll do the rest of the house, and that will be that. All right, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure if you're not subscribed, you go ahead and do so. Make sure you like, and make sure you leave me a comment, and make sure you share the video. Um, this build has so far been quite fun. I've really enjoyed looking at some of the Crystal Creations stuff because I still hadn't looked at any of it. So yeah, uh, thank you so much and I hope you guys have a great day wherever you're at in yours. Bye guys.